Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see dispute resolution methods. So let's see what are the methods of solving the dispute, resolving the disputes. First is negotiation. See what is negotiation? A negotiation clause basically includes the agreement that if a cause for a dispute should arise between a co contractor and a owner, these parties will attempt to reach a just and satisfactory resolution between themselves before moving on to the other means. As the name says, they will have negotiation. There will be negotiation between the owner and the contractor, between the parties obviously. So, before going for further process, they will satisfactorily solve the issues, resolve the issues by themselves. That is the negotiation. Then we have mediation. Mediation means a clause that suggests inclusion of a neutral third party in the dispute situation to help mediate the process of resolving the dispute. See, in the first case of negotiation, there will not be any intrusion of the person. The matter will be solved by the parties themselves. But in mediation, there will be a third party. There will be a third person that he will mediate between the process and he will try to resolve the dispute. And see, mediation is not legally binding in any way, but can be an effective way out of a situation which could otherwise deteriorate. See, it is not considered to be a legally binding in any way, but it is obviously the effective way to solve an issue. If you are using a third party person, then you can solve that particular dispute. And then we have expert determination. This is the third method of dispute resolution. Now, what it includes, see, as the name says, expert determination. An alternative to mediation is expert determination, which is used to resolve disputes of specialist nature or in cases where there is a valuation dispute requiring a specialist opinion. See, if mediation is not enough, a mediation person who is not expert to solve that particular issue, if any technical expertise is required, any expert determination is required, then in that case, there is third method we have that is expert determination in which that particular dispute or issue will be solved by an by a specialist if particular special work is there then though the determination cannot be legally enforced either if the parties agrees to this type of resolution it may save them from the more time consuming procedure see it is also not considered or cannot be legally enforced but if both the parties are ready to take the expert determination and solve the issues by using this method then it is well and good because their time will be saved then we have adjudication now what is adjudication see it is a method that includes a neutral third party see in expert determination we also including we are also including a third party but it will be a he will be a specialist he will be an expert. Then what is adjudication? See, it includes a third party, but unlike with the mediation method, the adjudicator will give a decision, whereas mediator will assist the parties in finding the resolution. That is very important. We have seen what is mediation. It is in mediation, mediator will assist, just assist the parties. He will help the parties to find a resolution, a common solution. But in adjudication, an adjudicator will give final decision. That is the difference. In mediator, he is giving the resolution. He is, fi he is finding the solution and he is capable of giving the decision, this adjudicator. That is the difference. And adjudication clauses typically also include the possibility of applying to a court to enforce the adjudicator's decision if the dispute is not resolved by the decision itself if for example adjudicator 
मेड सम डिसीजन बट बोथ द पार्टीज आर नॉट एक्सपेक्ट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट डिसीजन सो वॉट विल हैपन दिस डिसीजन कैन बी टेकन इन द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ इट कैन बी एनफोर्स इन द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ एंड पॉसिबिलिटी कैन बी फाइंड आउट वेदर इट कैन बी एक्सेप्टेड और नॉट बाय द कोर्ट so if it is not getting solved between these parties by the adjudicator then it can be enforced in the court of law this is the fourth method of dispute resolution method then we have arbitration see it is one of the most famous methods you can say if parties decide to go for arbitration they will again have a neutral third party enter the situation to help resolve it see in this method also there will be a third party to solve the issue or resolve the issue or resolve the dispute in arbitration parties agrees to the arbitrator who has relevant experience to engage in the matter he will be an experienced person of that relevant field and parties will agree to a final decision which is made by the arbitrator arbitrator is nothing but that person who will help them in finding of common or final solution arbitration now who is arbitrator he will listen to the both parties and he will made one made one conclusion and that has to be accepted by the parties the arbitrator what he will do he will consider the documents he will listen to the facts of the owner and the contractor two parties he will concern the situation and then finally he can make a decision that favors one side if the parties fail to achieve the consensus see if parties are not capable of taking a final decision then arbitrator will check the documents he will listen to the facts by both the parties he will analyze the situation and finally he will make a decision only in the favor of one side in the one party after reading all the documents after going through this documents facts and all this he will make a decision an arbitration can be legally binding depending upon the jurisdiction in which jurisdiction are you depending upon that even arbitration can be a legal binding the cost of arbitration can be significantly higher than that of other methods sometimes even as high as legal proceedings see it why generally people will not go directly with the arbitration because it will be costlier because With that methods which we have seen in the previous slides then this method that arbitration method is costing somewhat higher side so that's why it will it can even cost them as high as legal proceedings then we have sixth one litigation now what is litigation they see finally it is usually also included in the dispute clause in case of parties do not find any other way to resolve the issues that have come up so litigation involves a trial and is legally binding and enforceable though it can also be appealed see finally if they are not accepting any any of the methods above still the issue is not solved then in that case litigation will be followed it is nothing but trial and it is a legally binding enforceable by the law and it can but it can be appealed and see litigation can be by far the most thorough complex as well as slow costly way of resolving a dispute it is nothing but solving a case it is similar to like solving a case it will take trials and trials it will take time it will be a slow process it will also cost to the both parties for solving a particular dispute and finally they will come to the decision and that is legally binding it is enforceable by the law that is what litigation is so this is the fifth method of dispute resolution method so this is why parties will typically attempt a number of other resolution methods before opting for litigation why why we will they will have the finally the litigation option final option will be litigation why so because it is time consuming it is costlier so that's why it is also very complex process of litigation therefore they will consider it as a final option 
in case of dispute dispute resolution so this was the video on dispute resolution methods in previous videos we have seen what is dispute what are the causes of disputes in this video we have seen how to solve those disputes thank you